Okay, let's be honest. When you see Doberman videos on YouTube, you might start to think that Dobermans are just like perpetually in slow motion. And does that cool dramatic music just follow them around everywhere they go? Well, owning a Doberman, I promise you, isn't all just cool poses and dramatic shots in slow motion. There's some actual realities to the situation. The truth of the matter is, these Dobermans can be beautiful, amazing, unique dogs that are just, it's the dog that you'll talk about for the rest of your life until the day you die, or they can be kind of a terror if they don't get what they need. So this video is gonna help you to make sure that you give your Doberman everything they need. First up, these dogs, they need a task to accomplish. These are working dogs, so they need to feel like they've accomplished something throughout the day. Now, this can be simple. You don't have to get too complicated with it. It could be going out to get the newspaper every morning. It could be keeping your family safe. It can be completing a series of commands successfully so they get a reward and praise at the end. They just need some sort of routine in their day where they feel like they've accomplished a task. And actually that's where routine helps a lot is because if you have a routine you go on, it helps them to accomplish that task. But um, you know, as long as they feel like they have a job to accomplish, it's gonna help make them a lot happier and gonna help keep them a lot more content and less destructive throughout the day. Number two, they need lots of human interaction. These dogs are protection dogs from the beginning, so they're super focused on their humans. It's just one thing that's ingrained with them. And because of that, they need lots of interaction from you, talking with you back and forth. Um, and if you don't give them that interaction, for one, they're not gonna learn the behaviors that are acceptable in the household, but for two, they're just not gonna feel fulfilled and satisfied and happy. And trust me, if they're not happy, you as the owner aren't gonna be happy either. Number three, they just need regular guidance. Now, kind of like that interaction thing I mentioned before, the last point. This goes a little bit further. They need a lot of feedback on what they're doing throughout the day. They want to know that they're doing right by their owners. And if not, they need to have that direction. Simple things like making them wait before you go through the door. Tell them to leave it when they grab something they shouldn't grab. Or tell them, good boy, yes, that's your bone when they grab their bone. You know, a lot of people ask me how I train my Dormans to ignore kid toys in the house, for example. And just, they go straight to their toy, even if it's in the middle of all my toddler's toys all around it. Well, the way I train them simply is by just giving them feedback throughout the day. That's one of the beautiful things about the Dorman breed. They want to please you. So really all they need is that constant feedback. If they go towards their bone, we will say, yes, good boy, oh, good job, reward them. If they go towards a kid's toy, leave it, no little firm voice, a different tone. You give this feedback all day long, sooner or later, they're gonna get pretty well dialed in all on their own because of their instincts to please their owners. And you'll just notice them ignoring your kids' toys and going right to what they should be chewing on. It'll make your life easier and their life a whole lot happier. Next up, they just need plenty of attention. And I mean plenty, as much as you can dish out throughout the day. They need to follow you around the house all day. They need to follow you into the bathroom. They need all these things and this constant attention. If you're watching TV, they kind of need to be right in your face. It's just how they are. And if you can give them this attention, in fact, if you thrive on this attention, then you're gonna be a lot happier. Okay, maybe the bathroom thing, you can make a few boundaries, but in general, you gotta be able to dish out lots of attention to keep them happy. Number five, they need consistent exercise every single day. These dogs need at least one to two hours of exercise every day. This could be a huge commitment on your part, and you really gotta make sure it's something that you're willing to do, or even more than that, able to do with your schedule. Now, when people hear that, they get really scared sometimes. They go, one to two hours every day? Well, it's not like you gotta go on a two hour walk every single day. I'm saying the cumulative total of all the exercise throughout the day just needs to add up to that. So they could be playing with another dog in the house for 30 minutes. They could be playing with you in the backyard for 20, 15 minutes. They can go for then maybe a 45 minute walk with you. As long as everything adds up to be one to two hours, then you're off to a good start. Now, there are different lines and lineages of Dobermans. Some require a lot more than that, some even less than that. But the important thing is that you know that they just need this extra exercise. It keeps them mentally happy, physically happy, will be a lot more relaxed throughout the day. And if you're getting some behavior problems like destruction in the house, whining and crying and howling, then you can pretty much bet that this is because they may not be getting the stimulation and the exercise that they need. Number six, they need lots and lots of mental stimulation. This is the fifth smartest dog breed in the entire world. And as such, they have so much brain power that they gotta let it out. Otherwise they start to go a little stir crazy like this guy is right now. Um, 
I guess we didn't spend enough time at the dog park, but uh, ways you can do this are puzzle toys. That's an absolute blessing to the Doberman breed. Puzzle toys are a great way. That's, those are toys where you usually manipulate it a certain way and it lets out a treat for them. Um, that helps get a lot of that out. Uh, playing new games with them, interacting with them with uh, training sessions that involve new commands or even just reinforcing old ones can help too. All these things can really help engage their brain. And trust me, if you don't engage the brain and get out all that extra mental energy, then you're gonna be paying for it other ways because they're gonna put that mental energy into something else and usually it's getting in trouble. Real quick guys, before we get on to the next few points, I do want to do a quick button check. Check below this video for that subscribe button. Is it red or is it gray? If it's red, please go ahead and click it, make it gray, and click the little bell icon next to it as well. That'll really help me and Arlo out. Arlo's getting a little stressed out. He's kind of done filming today, but it has nothing to do, trust me, with the fact that he knows we're going to the dog park in a few minutes. Uh, it just has to do with the fact that he thinks that maybe you haven't yet clicked that subscribe button down below. So please click it, help Arlo out, and uh, let's get on to the next point. Number seven, they just need lots of consistency and routine. Consistency is amazing for training, and it really helps them to know what to expect from you. And it helps them just fall into place with their training, it makes training so much easier. Routine is great because if you're looking for like uh, a task to complete your dog, you know, you've heard that, you know, Dorbins, you know, need a job to do and to complete. A great way to just fulfill that is just have a routine every day. If you have a routine of getting through a walk and then a series of training commands after that, and then food, that series of things that you ask of your dog can start to feel like a job that they've accomplished. So use that routine to your advantage to help keep them extra happy. It also helps um, with making them feel a little more secure, especially with young puppies in new homes. If you have a consistent routine every day, it helps them get more confident in their new home. It just has a lot of benefits for the Doberman breed. So keep that consistency and that routine and you'll keep a happy Doberman. Number eight is inclusion in family activities. Dobermans are pack dogs and they certainly like to be a part of their family. And the more you include them in family activities, the more fulfilled they're gonna be. Not to mention it also gets them extra exposure and extra socializing, but it just helps them to bond tighter with the family, which will make your life just so much easier because they're gonna be happier and more content. It could be simple things like bringing them to your kid's baseball game or bringing them to a family outing um, with a lot of extended family or a kid's birthday party and having them right in the thick of it as long as your Doberman's relaxed and confident in that situation. Um, it could be so many different things. As long, just include them in family activities and resist the urge to keep them separate. Number nine, they just need ongoing socialization. Now the critical socialization period for Dobermans is when they're really young, from about four weeks of age to as late as 16 weeks of age. But even after that critical socialization window, all throughout their life, they really need re-exposure to new sights, sounds, people, experiences, as many things as possible. It'll help keep them calm and relaxed in any situation. Um, I did have some struggles with Arlo here. Um, COVID hit right about the time that we got him. So I had a lot of struggles with socialization with him. So he's, um, we're still working through that, but it's certainly an uphill battle. But the more you continue to, re to do it as they age and as time goes on, the more well-rounded the dog's gonna be in just any situation. And you want a calm, steadfast, great example of the breed, because after all, you're a Doberman breed ambassador, right? People don't get to meet a lot of Dobermans, so yours might be the only one they see, so keep them well socialized. All right, real talk for a minute, guys, and I know it's hard to take me seriously um, with my dog who's upside down, but real talk, you gotta be honest with yourself. If you're able to give a Doberman what they need to be happy and feel fulfilled in this life so they have low anxiety, um, because if not, you're gonna have a pent up dog that has just tons of energy, like actually like this guy's doing right now. He knows, and I mentioned to him by accident, D-O-G-P-A-R-K, and he knows it's right over there and we'll probably be going to that soon, so he's all pent up. But if you don't give your dog what they need and uh, a way to get out the energy that they need, then you're just gonna be paying for it with a lot of destructive behaviors. Some examples are, of this are destructive chewing of things in the house that they shouldn't be, and destroying things, even swallowing things that they shouldn't, um, barking or howling, OCD type behavior where they chew on like one spot on their body over and over and over again and make a raw spot, that can happen as well. Aggression towards other people or other dogs can be one side effect of not getting what they need. Um, also uh, increased uh, fear and just fear biting and uh, even urinating and defecating in the house can be uh, a result of not getting out some of these things and fulfilling these instinctual needs that they have. So have a serious talk with yourself if you're considering one of these dogs, make sure you can fulfill these things for them. If you can, then I say, get yourself a Doberman because you're not gonna regret it. They pay you back extreme dividends. 
For those of you watching who have owned a Doberman or maybe do currently own a Doberman, what advice would you give to other people? What advice do you wish you had before you got your first Doberman? Please leave it in the comments below. You might just be helping out someone new who's watching this video because they're considering getting one of these amazing dogs. Keep being great Doberman breed ambassadors. Please make sure you're subscribed down below and thank you so much for watching. Of course, me and Arlo, we'll see you next time. Now we better take off before this guy just uh, completely loses his cool because he sees a dog park over there. See you guys next time.